University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, tonight we're playing the last of the first round matches. 13 teams are through to the next stage of the competition and whichever team wins tonight will join them. If the losers are to qualify for a final chance to go on, though, they'll need to score 150 to guarantee that they go through. Now, Lady Margaret Hall Oxford was founded in 1878 and named after Margaret Beaufort, the mother of Henry VII. It was originally a college for women, and Elizabeth Wordsworth, the great niece of the poet, was its first principal, presiding over nine students. In 1960, it formally became a college of Oxford, and men were admitted from 1979. Alumni include the critic and writer Diana Athill, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Benazir Bhutto, the writer Gertrude Bell, known for her administrative work in Arabia, the historian Antonia Fraser, and the food writer and broadcaster Nigella Lawson. With an average age of 21 and representing around 600 students, let's meet the team from Lady Margaret Hall. Hi, I'm Matthew Lequisette. I'm from Reading and I'm studying medicine. Hi, I'm Mary Lobo. I'm from Woodcote near Reading and I study law with German law. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Isaac Brown. I'm from Sheffield and I'm studying French and linguistics. Hi, I'm Ro. I'm from London and I'm studying classics. <laughs> Downing College was founded by the fortune left to Sir George Downing by his grandfather, who built London's Downing Street, although it took half a century of family wrangling through the courts before the college was established in 1800. Alumni include the film and theatre directors Michael Apted, Michael Winner and Trevor Nunn, the writers Howard Jacobson and Clive King, and the comedy stalwarts John Cleese and Andy Hamilton, with an average age of 21, representing around 650 students. Let's meet the Downing team. Hi, my name is Bovi Zeng. I study chemical engineering and I'm originally from Reading. Hi, my name's Navash Petjavis and I study law. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Robert. I study modern contemporary literature and I'm originally from Nottingham. Hi, I'm Pranoy Chowdhury Vailan Brain. I'm from Ipswich and I study neuroscience. Now, any students watching tonight who fancy their chances in next year's competition should know that their students' union or JCR have already been sent all the information needed to put a team together. So inquire there, give it a go, and good luck. The rules are the same as ever. Here's your first starter for ten. She portrayed the world from a mouse's or rabbit's or small child's eye view. The vantage point in her exquisite watercolours varies from a few inches to a few feet from the ground, like that of a toddler. These words of the novelist Alison Lurie refer to which author and illustrator, born in London in 1866? Darling Pratt Jarvis. Beatrix Potter. Correct. <laughs> So you get the first set of bonuses. They're on a profession. Firstly, Downing, Jacob Grimm, Lewis Carroll, Marcel Duchamp, Pope Pius XI and Casanova are linked by having held what post in academic, municipal or private institutions? Professor of Mathematics? No, they're all librarians. Which librarian wrote the 1876 pamphlet entitled A Classification and Subject Index for Cataloguing and Arranging the Books and Pamphlets of a Library? Dewey. Uh, Dewey. Dewey is correct. Callimachus Eratosthenes and Apollonius of Rhodes all served at which library created by Ptolemy I in the 3rd century BCE? The Great Library of Alexandria. Correct. Ten points for this. I need the title of a painting here. The artist said that it was probably an unconscious depiction of the loneliness of a large city. It portrays a diner in which four figures... Lady Margaret Hall-Brown. Nighthawks. Nighthawks is correct. By <laughs> These bonuses, Lady Margaret Hall, are on alumni of the Slade School of Art. Born in 1846, which illustrator gives her name to an annual British Literary Award that recognises distinguished illustration in a book for children. OK. Um, Greenway. Kate Greenway is correct. It was announced in May 2018 that which Slade alumna had been chosen to create a statue commemorating Mary Wollstonecraft? The artist's previous works include memorials to Oscar Wilde and Benjamin Britten. 
class. That was Maggie Hambling. And finally, which graduate's works include the 2005 embankment in which he filled the Tate Modern Turbine Hall with an abstract landscape made from 14,000 white polyethylene boxes? Uh, Ai Weiwei? No, that was Rachel Whiteread. Right, ten points for this. In organic chemistry, what general class of compound is the product of a Mendius reaction? That is, one in which an organic nitrile is completely reduced by nascent hydrogen. Lady Margaret Hall Le Quisette. An alkene? No, anyone want to buzz from Downing? Uh, Downing Pratt Jarvis. Nylon? That's an amine. Right, ten points for this starter question. Of which of Shakespeare's characters did the actor Ellen Terry write? I conceive her as a small, slight woman of acute nervous sensibility. It seems strange to me that anyone can think of her as a sort of monster. Lady Downing Macbeth. Jackson. Lady Macbeth. Lady Macbeth is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on physiology, Downing. What letter of the alphabet denotes the family of proteins that are activated when the hormones adrenaline, glucagon and luteinizing hormone bind to their receptors? G. 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 G is correct. Secondly, the production of which second messenger is stimulated or inhibited after activation of G proteins? C A. C-A-M-P? Correct, yes. Cyclic A-M-P. What enzyme is activated by cyclic A-M-P? Kinase A. Yeah. Normally by a Protein kinase A? Correct. <laughs> right, it's about time we had a picture round. For your picture starter, you're going to see a definition in Spanish of a single Spanish word, also used in English as a loan word. Ten points if you can work out the word defined. Lady Margaret Hall-Brown. Sangria. Sangria is correct. <laughs> right, picture bonuses, three more definitions in Spanish of common Spanish foods. Again, I want the single word defined in each case, each of which is also typically used in English. Firstly... Oh, um, churros? No? Yes, yeah, exactly. yeah. Churros? Churros is correct, yes. The slimmest friend. And secondly... <laughs> Some sort of spicy sausage, so chorizo or chorizo. Yep, chorizo. Correct. And finally, so cold soup. So what's the um, gazpacho? Gazpacho. Yeah. Gazpacho. Gazpacho is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Answering German or English, Atlantic's "Books That Shook the World" series includes Francis Wien's biography of which work? In its first volume, published in Berlin in 1867. The author states his ultimate aim is to lay bare the economic law of motion ah. of modern... Downing Jackson. Das Kapital. Correct, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on repetition. Repetition is a beloved wife of whom one never wearies. One only becomes weary of what is new. Which thinker wrote those words in a work of 1843, the same year that he published Either Or and Fear and Trembling? Soren Kierkegaard. Uh, Soren Kierkegaard. Correct. When one gets the same term repeated, this signifying repetition generates the spectre of an ineffable X beyond words. Who wrote those words in the 2010 work Living in the End Times? Derrida. That was Zizek. And finally, history occurs first as tragedy and then as farce. These words summarise an argument made by which 19th century German philosopher in an essay discussing the French coup of 1851? Nietzsche? That was Marx. Ten points for this. Beijing is one of four cities traditionally known as the four great ancient capitals of China. Can you name two of the others? Uh, Downing Prat Jarvis. Um, Xi'an and Shanghai? No. Lady Margaret Hall Brown. Xiang and Kaifeng. No, it's Xi'an. The other ones are Nanjing and Luoyang. Right, so another starter question. 
Named after Scottish and Irish physicians, what pattern of breathing is characterised by a cyclical variation in rate, becoming uh, slower until Downing breathing... Downing Chantry file Ambrone. Chain Stokes. Chain Stokes is correct. Well done. <laughs> Your bonuses are on 16th century rulers, Downing College. Often known by his by-name, which prominent ruler killed his son and heir apparent in 1581, an act that contributed to the extinction of the Rurik dynasty and the period known as Ivan the Time the Terrible. of Trouble? Ivan the Terrible is correct. Oh, Ivan the Fourth. Philip the Handsome of Burgundy and Joanna, known as the Mad of Castile, were the parents of which Holy Roman Emperor who reigned from 1519 until 1556? Charles V. Charles V is correct. Known as Bloody Mary, Mary I was the daughter of which wife of Henry VIII? Catherine of Aragon? Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> perfect, plagal, imperfect and interrupted are the four main types of the combination... Lady Margaret Hall Gentua. Cadence. Cadence is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on lawyers in the novels of Charles Dickens, LMH. Which novel by Dickens features Dodson and Fogg, an unscrupulous firm of London attorneys, who file a breach of promise against the title character? Is that Little Giant? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Martin Chuzzlewit. Go for it. Martin Chuzzlewit. No, it's the Pickwick Papers. In which novel does the villainous Daniel Quilp receive legal advice from Samson Brass, a man described by Dickens as an attorney of no very good repute. Is that the old curiosity shop? Maybe. The old curiosity shop? Correct. And finally, despite beginning as the idlest and most unpromising of men, the young attorney, Sidney Carton, dies a heroic death in the concluding pages of which novel? Tale of Two Cities. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. After a distinctive body feature, what 11-letter word follows timber... Prairie and Eastern Diamond back in the common names of members of a large genus of venomous New World reptiles. Lady Margaret Hall Genjua. Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses now are on recent winners of the Pulitzer Prize for History. Heather Ann Thompson's 2017 Pulitzer Prize winning book, Blood in the Water, describes the uprising in 1971 at which prison in New York State? Um, no. Stonewall. Stonewall. Come on, let's have it, please. Stonewall. No, it's Attica. Secondly, the 2012 prize was awarded posthumously to Manning Marable for a biographical work subtitled A Life of Reinvention concerning which activist who died in 1965? Milk or...? Milk. I don't know. Milk. No, it was Malcolm X. And finally, Annette Gordon-Reed's 2009 prize-winning book has the title The Hemingses of which house in Virginia, the principal residence of an early US president? Oh, uh, what's Washington House? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the lyrics from Hamilton and I can't. OK. Do you have anything? No. Um, Washington House. No, it's Monticello. We're coming up on the halfway mark now, so time for a music round. For your music starter, you're going to hear part of an original film score. For ten points, I want the title of the film for which it was composed. <laughs> One of the Darling most Jackson. famous films. The Godfather? Called... No! <laughs> <laughs> Lady Margaret Hall, the closet. Ratatouille. Ratatouille? <laughs> <laughs> no, meretricious offerings. It's the third man. Right, ten points for this. Music bonuses in a moment or two. In terms of Bank of England currency notes, which English county is ten pounds if twenty pounds is Kirkcaldy and five pounds is Blenheim Palace? Lady 
Lady Margaret Hall Lobo. Hampshire? Hampshire is correct, yes. yes. Well done. It's birthplaces, of course. OK, following on from the Harry Lyme theme, which none of you knew, uh, that was a pioneering example of the use of leitmotif in film music. Your music bonuses are three more examples of leitmotifs in film soundtracks. Name the film in each case. Firstly, the title of the 1990s film in which this music first appeared. Scary. Yeah. Which one? Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace. Nineties. If it's the nineties, it's the Phantom Menace. I thought it might be. What Phantom Menace? That's not nineties. It can't be. It was nineties. The Phantom Menace. No, that's from Jurassic Park. Used to represent the Velociraptors and other nasty beings. Secondly, this nineteen sixties film. Dracula. No, that's Once Upon a Time in the West. That motif represents the character Harmonica. Finally, here I want the name of the film series in which this theme originally appeared. Lord of the Rings. It is the Lord of the Rings. That's the ring itself. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Santa Cruz de la Sierra is the largest city of which country? It lies in tropical lowlands in the east of the country, more than 800 kilometres from the nearest sea. Uh, Downing Pratt Jarvis. Argentina? No. Anyone like to buzz from LMH? Come on. It's Bolivia. Ten points for this. Who wrote the 1896 work Beethoven and his Nine Symphonies? He'd earlier become the first director of the Royal College of Music and is perhaps best known for the multi-volume Dictionary of Music and Musicians that bears his name. Uh, Darling Pratt Jarvis. Sibelius? No. Lady Margaret Hall Le Quisette. Chambers? No, Sir George Grove. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called, using the atomic numbers of the periodic table. If lithium times boron is phosphorus, what is helium times beryllium? Lady Margaret Hall Le Quisette. Oxygen. Correct. <laughs> Three questions on scientific terms, LMH. The North and South Pacific subtropical are among the five major systems of rotating ocean currents commonly known by what short term? Gaius. Gaius. Correct. The cerebral cortex of the brain is characterised by ridges known as gyri or gyri and grooves or furrows known by what short Latin term? Sulcus. 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 Sulcus or Salci is correct. Which French scientist coined the term gyroscope in 1852? He gives his name to a device designed to demonstrate the rotation of the Earth. Um, when was that? 1850s. It's too late. I mean, too early. Um, Carnot. No, that's Foucault of the famous pendulum. Ten points for this. Spurn Head is a promontory at the mouth of which estuary formed of rivers including the Air, Ouse and Trent? Its name also appears in that of the northernmost county of England. Ah. Uh, Downing Zen. Humber. Humber is correct, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on the magazine editor Tina Brown. Having edited Tatler in the UK, Brown moved to New York in 1983 at the age of 29 to relaunch which magazine? It shares its name with a novel that first appeared in 1847. Vanity Fair? Correct. In 1992, Brown took over the editorship of what publication? During her tenure, its contributors included John Updike and Harold Brodkey. Yeah. 
Playboy. Playboy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Should I kill you? No, it's the New Yorker. In 2008, Brown launched which US digital news site? It takes its name from a fictional newspaper in Evelyn Waugh's novel, Scoop. Um, Gorka. No, it's the Daily Beast, as in Scoop. You've never read it? I'm, I'm afraid not, no. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Right, we're going to take another picture around now. If you're a picture starter, you're going to see a detail of a well-known painting. Ten points if you name the artist, please. Downing Zhang. Botticelli. No. Anyone want to buzz from Lady LMH? Margaret Hall-Brown. Rousseau. It is Rousseau, you're right. That's the dream. Let's see the whole thing. There it is. Following on from that detail from Rousseau's The Dream, your picture bonuses are three more details of birds in major paintings. Again, for the points, I just need the name of the artist in each case, please. Firstly... OK, is that some sort of Titian Venus or...? Looks to maybe me like Raphael? one of the paintings of the Madonna. Raphael? It is Raphael. It's from his Madonna of the Goldfinch. There it is. <laughs> Secondly... Could that be like... Is that the Night Watch? Sure. Rembrandt? No, it's Joseph Wright of Derby. Oh, That's yeah. the bird in his experiment on a bird in an air pump, poor thing. And finally... There's a lot going on. <laughs> Someone old. Just yeah. Yeah. Bosch. It is Hieronymus Bosch. It's from the Garden of Earthly Delights. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Born 1746, which Spanish artist created the series of etchings ah. entitled... Downing Prince Jarvis. Velasquez. No, you lose five points. The Disasters of War, recording the horrors of the Napoleonic invasion. Ah. Lady Margaret Hall Brown. Goya. Goya is correct. Your bonuses are on the works of Professor Stephen Hawking. In each case, give the single word that completes the following titles. Firstly, Hawking's 2001 book, The Universe in a... Maybe. Nutshell. Correct. Secondly, the 2006 work edited by Hawking, subtitled The Mathematical Breakthroughs That Changed History. God created the... Mm. Something mathsy. Integers. Uh, okay. um, integers. Correct. And finally, in a series co authored with his daughter Lucy, who is the title figure of children's books that include Secret Key to the Universe and Cosmic Treasure Hunt? George. George is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. <laughs> Kelly. Finocchietto, Morris, Norwich and Norfolk are all types of what kind of surgical instrument? Lady Margaret Hall, the A scalpel. No. Anyone like to buzz from Downing? Downing, Brent Jarvis. Forceps? No, they're retractors. Ten points for this. Bay, goat, grey, osier and white are among the British species of which tree? Downing Zhang. Willow. Willow is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on football, specifically winners of the Copa Libertadores trophy in Latin America since 2010. In each case, identify the club from the description. Firstly, a club from Buenos Aires. Its short two-word name is the Spanish name of a Christian martyr of the third century. It is? No. Santa Cruz. No, it's San Lorenzo. And secondly, a club based in Medellin in Colombia. Its name combines words found in the names of leading clubs in Madrid and Montevideo. Any ideas? That's all. No. Um, I can't think of anything. Pass. It's Atletico Nacional. And finally, the club of a major seaport southeast of Sao Paulo. Pele spent most of his playing career there. 
Santos. Nominate Zhang. Santos. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Give the short word that completes this couplet by Dorothy Parker. Four be the things I'd been better without. Love, curiosity, freckles and... Downing Chowdhury Vile Ambro. Doubt. Doubt is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on English poetry this time, Downing College. In each case, identify a six-letter word. What is the fourth word of William Blake's poem, The Tiger? Um, bright. Bright. Bright is correct. What word rhymes with night and light in the first stanza of Edward Fitzgerald's translation of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam? Um, kite. No, it's flight. What is the rank of the person described in the first line of John Keats's poem La Belle Dame Sans Merci? Night is harms. Oh, night. Correct. Night is correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. In Rudyard Kipling's poem, which two of his six honest serving men are anagrams of each other? It's how and who. Ten points for this. Based on a poem by Longfellow, the late 19th century musical adaptation Song of Hiawatha is among the works of which English composer? His name recalls that of a romantic poet born in 1772. Lady Margaret Hall Brown. Coleridge. No. <laughs> Darling Wordsworth. Jackson. Wordsworth. No, oh, it's Samuel Coleridge Taylor. Ten points for this. Since the official census of England, Wales, and Scotland was introduced in 1801, which is the only year ending in the digit one in which a census was not taken? <laughs> Darling Jackson. 1941. Correct. You get a set of bonuses on Pacific territories. The Pacific Islands comprise three ethno-geographic groupings. Polynesia is one. Can you name the other two, please? Melanesia and Micronesia. Melanesia and Micronesia. Correct. A sovereign nation since 1994. Which archipelago lies to the west of Micronesia and has an extensive barrier reef system encircling most of its 300-plus islands? Give me a name, anything. <laughs> it's Palau or Bellau. Bad luck, too long conferring. Very well done, Lady Margaret Hall. We look forward to seeing you in the next stage of the competition, the second round. Now, next time will be the first of the playoffs for the four highest scoring losing teams, and with scores of 170 and 150 respectively, the universities of Sheffield and York will definitely compete again at that stage. That leaves Jesus College Oxford, Durham University, and tonight's runners-up, Downing College Cambridge, all tied on 145 points for the remaining two places. We judge that the two teams to go through will be those that have reached their total needing to hear the fewest questions. Those two will be revealed next time on that cliffhanger. <laughs> it's goodbye from Downing College Cambridge. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. It's goodbye from Lady Margaret Hall, Oxford. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>